here are some common big mistakes some inexperienced bird owners can and have made. Before we start, make sure to subscribe. Tap the bell to get notified about all new videos. The bowl looks full, but it's not. Learn how to recognize eaten seed versus edible seed. Birds who eat seed leave behind holes that can be mistaken for whole seeds. I've heard of owners leaving the food bowl in without changing it for days, resulting in a bird starving to death with a full food bowl. Food and water should be replaced daily at minimum. If it's not on the ground, it's not food. Some young birds, especially young budgies, don't know how to eat or drink from their new bowls. They don't recognize the contents as food, they only know how to eat seed off the cage floor. If you notice a new bird not eating from its bowl for a long time, you may want to try lowering the food bowl and or putting a shallow saucer of food on the floor for the bird to see if it eats from there and or putting a shallow saucer of food on the floor for the bird to see if it eats from there. Experiment and try different ways of teaching the bird where to get its food. Where's my water? I can't find any. The same applies to water as with food. Young birds don't know that a particular container contains water. Try showing the bird water moving around in the container or get a little drop to drip from the edge near the bird. After a while, the bird usually gets the idea that there's water in the container. If switching to water bottles, show the bird how the water bottle works. Make sure it sees water dripping from the nozzle, etc. And never switch completely away from a bowl until you're really sure the bird knows how to drink from the water bottle. Is that all I get? It's safer to overfeed a bird at first rather than risk starving the bird. Reduce quantities only once you get a good feel for how much the bird needs. Experiment to make sure you're right. Birds can get fat, especially on some diets. You poisoned my water. Some birds will refuse to drink water with medicine and or perhaps vitamins added. Observe the bird carefully for the first few days. Know the bird's limits. Some birds will give in and get their medicine, while others will still refuse to drink to the point where it can hurt them. A good vet can find some other way to medicate your bird other than the water. I'd rather starve than touch that. Whether because they hate the food or just don't know it's food, some birds can and do starve to death rather than eat new foods. And even if a bird nibbles at something, it doesn't mean he understands it's food. He might just think it's a chew toy. Make sure he's swallowing it and knows it's food. In switching to new foods, always make sure the bird is eating enough food of some sort to stay healthy. And if you don't know how much is enough, talk to your avian vet. A very small bird has a high metabolism and requires frequent meals. So while one night of hunger may be okay for a healthy bird, more than that can be dangerous. All I want is seed. As stated elsewhere, a seed-only diet is insufficient. Some birds, especially those that are not tame, may be next to impossible to convert to a healthy, non-seed-only diet. But hand-tame birds, though often stubborn, can usually be converted much more easily. Start young. Young birds are much more willing to try out new foods. That's really not food for me. Make sure you get food appropriate for your bird. Ew, my bowl is gross. Clean the water and food containers thoroughly daily. More often if there's poop in them. Tip, to rinse away stubborn detergent, spray on some vinegar and then rinse thoroughly in water. Very useful for water bottles. Watch for nooks and crannies in bowls and bottles where germs hide such as the corners, if the surface feels slimy, you have a bacterial buildup. 
Not watching the bird eat, drink, play, sleep is okay. It'll be fine. Wrong. First time owners especially need to learn to observe a bird. Learn its body language. Find out how to tell if it's healthy, sick, or lonely. Anticipate its needs. Always provide fresh food and water and make sure it eats and drinks. Don't be afraid to call up your vet at the first sign of trouble. Birds can get very sick very fast. Beware in obvious poisons. Never feed your bird chocolate. It's poisonous to them. So is avocado and hence guacamole. Parts of the fruit are toxic. No alcohol, no caffeine, no lead, no cigarette butts. Cigarette smoke is bad too. Never use Teflon cookware in a house with birds. Watch next, how to get your bird to eat veggies or fruits. Or sick bird symptoms.